Yeah, buddy. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chadish. We're back at it again with the next subscriber showcase. Uh, Thalios has been waiting quite some time. He's been finding me here and there in the arena. Uh, and we haven't been able to record it, but I was able to get a recording, so super excited to bring this video to you today. Uh, for those that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel subscriber showcase. It's one of my oldest um, series where I um, dedicate a video to um, taking a look at the people that I find, the subscribers that I find on my arena list, whether you're on my you know, friends list or not, if we find you, um, we get you added to my friends list so I can do a quick showcase on your arena defense so you can see how it is, find some pros and cons that I set up and see how we can uh, fix it in the future, or just watch me get manhandled by your defense. So <laughs> it can go either way. So let's go ahead and take a look, guys. Um, he uh, decided to run Vermos, Ashir, Jultan, and Chasun. So we'll go ahead and start with Chasun right now. Chasun right now is uh, looking like she's running hit point across the board, which is always good because um, you want to definitely have as much hit points as possible so you can take advantage of that second skill. Looks like he's doing a good job maxing out. Um, let's see. Uh, I do... I do believe that the resistance is high. Yes, I definitely would, um, you know, just kind of keep an eye out for um, speed runes, uh, runes that have the HP, speed, and resistance for these one to three and the five. So you can kind of beef that up a little bit. It looks like this one has a couple of both, but these two right here just has the hit points, and this one just has the hit points. So again, um, while the hit points overall are pretty decent, um, they definitely can improve and your speed can improve. You always want to if you're utilizing a, a Chasun in your defense, you want to make sure that this is synced up with your uh, DPS. Or, uh, as you've seen in my videos, um, this one here is uh, uh, synced up with my Darien and, and literally goes right before my Darien. Um, so I get the buff off. And then if I have to uh, take advantage of the uh, Fallen Blossoms um, when Chasun or Darien is low, then I can go ahead and you know take advantage of that. Um, next one up, we'll go with Veramos here. Uh, definitely um, really, really fast. Uh, we got ourselves speed, hit point, hit point, running violent energy. Um, you see a lot of people recommend going violent nemesis, but if you don't have the nemesis runes, but you have two runes like this that have good HP substats or good speed substats, use them. You know, make the best of what you got. A 200 speed Veramos um, uh, for, uh, for on a violent set is actually not bad at all, and the hit points are really really good so overall his stats are pretty darn good here nothing nothing to shy about that um, I think his downside is going to be his next two units so um, as you can see right here he has himself a shear which is an amazing unit uh, to say the least but um, it looks like he is trying to um, you know do what other people are do without the runes that other people have if that makes sense so uh, if you take a look here the hit points are definitely where you need to be, but because his runes, the quality of his runes are lacking, he does not have the crit rate, he does not have the crit damage. Now, um, can you get away with not having crit damage on the fourth slot? Sure you can, but the value of this particular unit comes with having this, uh, an absurd amount of high crit rate and high crit damage so you can basically snipe uh, your opponents. This unit is not going to do any good to you. Um, if you can't um, use it for what it's intended, and that is to, um, you know, do an absurd amount of damage with this skill. It's just not, you're not going to get a lot of value out of it, okay? So um, play around with your runes. As, you, as I can see here, you got an absurd amount of units, um, some with a, a wide variety of, you know, violent or revenge runes all, all around these units. Um, take a look and see if you can mix and match um, the next time you have some money. So you can get yourself a, a really good uh, amount of uh, crit rate and crit damage. I definitely recommend, um, you know, being in that 75 plus uh, crit rate and trying to get, you know, anywhere from, you know, 150 to 175 damage. Um, it seems like when, when you kind of get those stats in the 35 to 40k range, um, this one, you know, does the kind of damage that needs to be done to... Um, get what you want and, and and of course you know i would i would imagine that this is one of your main units that you use on the offense as well um you know obviously uh, it's just not good you're not going to get a lot of value with with literally no no crit rate here this is the base crit rate plus three so definitely need to rework that in um jewel time it looks like you're just using filler runes for now 
So that that is perfectly fine. Um, as far as the arena arena defense goes, um, I'm not a big uh, fan of that there. Um, reason being is people at your level, um, which you currently are conquer too, um, generally know how Jewel Tan works. So they're going to be avoiding him for last. Um, you know, one of the things that I do to kind of you know, counter that is actually put him on a violent. I see a lot of people utilizing him with like a double revenge or triple revenge um, because they utilize him as an AO monster. Um, but I use him um, for AO and Guild War O, uh, but I also use him, play around with him on Guild War defense as well. Um, so I, I, me personally, I do like a violent set on him, you know, with HP across the board. Um, but again, it, it just kind of comes down to the runes that you got. So definitely, if you can't get a full, you know, violence set on or whatever, see if you can fit some revenge runes on. Um, that will definitely increase the value of this unit. Um, I, I definitely like at least at least two sets of revenge, double revenge if you can. Double revenge, nemesis is always nice. Um, but again, uh, if you can get yourself, like, you know, keep these energy runes here and maybe go double revenge on the other ones so you can keep his hit points high and take advantage of this passive, um, that'll be good. So... Those are his four units. Um, the synergy in general is just not there. The Jewel Time is gonna provide uh, the defense break, but it's a one-turn defense break um, that generally will go away when, when, when bringing a, you know, somebody was bringing like a Veramos comp or bringing immunity. So you don't have any consistent de uh, uh, defense breakers. Um, while this one provides defense break, uh, it's not going to, like I said, it's for one turn. So the chances of you uh, being around to take advantage of that defense break, um, it's not going to happen. And so all of your units are going to be all over the place attacking whoever they can um, and attracting to, you know, this one attracts the dark, you know, Jotan attracts the light. So he's gonna, they're, all, they're gonna be all over the place. Um, the, 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 back, the fact that both of these units are neutral will make it a little bit easier for your units to focus down. But if you have no defense break to focus down, your arena defense is not going to be successful. Um, so, you know, future recommendations, keep Veramos in there. Um, if you can get your, uh, if you can get this unit, you know, uh, extremely high speed, you know, in that 200 speed, plus like a Darien and a, uh, and a Chasun, uh, that might get the job done. Um, Veramos, if you rework a Shear, you could definitely leave a Shear in there. You know, Veramos, Ashir, Darian, Bella. Um, there's there's quite a few combinations here, but I, I like, like I, I know that Verda Hill is not one of those ones that people like to utilize, um, you know, in the arena defense. Uh, but I do find that if you have yourself, you know, a couple of units, especially like a, a cleanser, um, and a Chasun, you know, with a decent amount of speed. When you got this one, you know, in that 140, 150 speed, you got this one 200 plus speed. Um, you know, you're going to get a lot of cleansing. You're going to get a lot of AoE stuns because he's going to continuously violent proc that AoE stun. Um, you know, you get this one high, uh, somehow work in a revenge set. Um, you give the um, ability for the person to, uh, you know, you, for you to get uh, attack H boost uh, in between rounds. A um, lot of stuff going on. So it looks like, yeah, you got a Chloe, you know, Veramos, Chloe, Darian, Chasun, Veramos, um, Darian, Ashir. Chasun, Veramos, uh, Vertihill, Ashir. No, actually, I take that back because you'll you'll need a defense breaker. So, um, Veramos, yeah, Veramos, Vertihill, and then if you get Darian maxed out with like a Violent Revenge, and then one of your healers, Chloe, um, Chasun, so on and so forth. So. A lot of, lot of options here, a lot of options. I guess, like I said, if you, you've seen a very standard comp, Pheromos, uh, Chloe, Darian, just soon maxed out, leveled up, but um, I don't see no reason why you couldn't work in um, a share in the mix um, if you have yourself, you know, good good units and whatnot. I, I like, I'm a big fan of uh, um, of having a share in there with like a Chloe, um, you know, Pheromos, Chloe, double cleanse, or cleanse, immunity, and then you got yourself uh, like a backup healer uh, with the second skill. So if you only go with one one healer, like a Chloe, then you got yourself a little backup healer. So play around with that. You know, continuously work on your units. Definitely need to get a sheer work. You you you're losing a lot of value on that, and it's gonna show, I believe, here in this following clip. So let's go ahead and uh, cut to the next clip. I thank you all for tuning in.
It's your boy Chatters for Chatters Place checking out. Take care. We'll see you in the arena match.